Hi, I'm Matthew Weathers. I work for Biola University in Los Angeles County. I like to make videos for my math class and recently a couple of them became popular on YouTube. I made a Halloween video in 2009 and then later I made a video for April Fool's Day in April of 2010. If you haven't seen them, you can click on them right here or right here. First of all, thanks to those of you who left me comments. That was very kind. I'm flattered. Uh, the number of people asked, how did you do that? Well, a magician never reveals his secrets. But I'm not a magician. I'm a teacher, so I'd be happy to teach you how and show you how I made those videos. That's what this video is about. I'll tell you first about the Halloween video in which I step behind the screen at the same time that a video shows me walking <laughs> into the frame. Here's my classroom. It's an old science lecture hall with a big desk that happens to be set up just right for this. I set up the camera in the back of the room. I zoomed in so that the camera shows everything where the white screen was and then I put up the screen and then I walked into the, that area and did a couple things like throwing out the eraser or moving the whiteboard, that kind of a thing. But then the video is showing just what was in that white space where the screen was. Then all I had to do was play back that video on the screen during class and interact with it. I practiced a handful of times before class. But the way that the classroom was set up made it easy because I could hide behind the large desk and watch the video from behind there for cues when I was supposed to do different things. In fact, I didn't hide very well. And if you look carefully, you can see me behind the desk uh, doing things in that video. The next semester I did another video. This time I walked in front of the screen and interacted with my shadow. This required quite a bit more video editing. Fortunately for me, Biola has a great film program with many talented students and I asked one of them, Andy Staver, to help me with the editing. I set up the camera the same way I had before, zoomed into just the white screen, then projected a very light version of my desktop onto the screen. This was so that I could see where things were, but in the video it was mostly white. Then I did a few things like moving around the icons, uh, clicking on the close, shutdown window, and so on. Next, Andrew used the luminosity in that video and created a mask and mixed that with the screenshot of my desktop. He used Adobe After Effects, Motion, and Final Cut. But you could probably do something about as good with any video editor. I had tried a rough draft of this program with Visual Studio and something called the Luma Key. Andrew animated the desktop by creating individual icons and moving them around. You can make your own desktop animation with screen capture software. For example, TechSmith's free program called Jing is one that you could use. The final trick was to record the class using a camera mounted right next to the projector so that you can't see the real shadow. If you look from the perspective of the projector, the shadow is right behind me. Whereas if you use a different perspective, you can actually see the shadow. So that was the other key. So that's it. I know this is just a quick overview, but hopefully that's enough to get you started. Again, the one that you walk behind the screen is a lot easier to do than the one where you walk in front. I used just a cheap camera, a mini DV camera for $300. I think I paid for it a couple years back. Uh, I also used a personal voice recorder, this one, the Sony ICD PX720 to record my voice better. So have fun, make your own videos, be creative, live life. And if you make a video using these instructions, I'd love to see how it turned out. Be sure and send me a link. In fact, that's your homework is if you make a video like this to send me a link. I'm a teacher. I have to give homework. So enjoy. Oh, and P.S. Andrew Staver may be looking for a job once he graduates. So if you want to see his reel or contact him, you can go to andrewstaver.com.